Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation They ain't never had the dedication What's going on guys? Just make sure to go check out my Twitter and go give me a follow. It's at JnoxReacts or you can click the link in the description below. But anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Alright guys, this is why the Celtics shouldn't get Carmelo Anthony. Um, pretty much, I just think that the Celtics wouldn't be able to fit Carmelo in, into the starting lineup. <clears throat> I think, yeah, maybe if we did get him, we can move him down to the power forward position and then put Al at the center, but... Still, Carmel Anthony has his own play style. Just, he likes to take the, he likes to be the floor general like Isaiah Thomas is for the Celtics. Um, Carmel Anthony, if he's open, obviously he's going to take the shot, but he likes to have the ball in his hands at all times. Most of the time, he likes to be calling the shots. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure most of the time when the Knicks do play, he takes the ball down the court. So he, you know, acts as a point guard should, but he plays a small forward position, and I, in my opinion, he takes just way too many shots a game. He really doesn't have that good of a field goal percentage, and then uh, this season he's been taking a lot more threes than he usually does. His field goal percentage is still a little low, lower than a lot of the other years, just because he's taken a lot more but <clears throat> again he just likes to have the ball in his hands at all times and I don't see him fitting in with the Celtics at all we wouldn't be able to fit him and I don't think he would like to come off the bench for the Celtics but hey if he's fine with coming off the bench with like Jay Crowder, Marcus Smart, Terry Rozier, Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum and then uh, Bynes or Baines then to be honest I can see us signing him but that's the only way He's not going to start start for the Celtics. He's number one. He's he's getting real old, and um, we just have better players and younger players at the position that he plays. So I don't see him going to the Celtics and starting at all. Um, pretty much, Brad Stevens. I think he said something about him wanting to sign him in the. Celtics organization had an idea to try to trade for him. I think we did put a trade through. I don't know if it got accepted or not. Well, obviously it didn't because it didn't go through yet, but I hope they don't actually um, look at the trade and Carmelo come to Celtics because honestly, I think it's a waste of money. We don't need the position. We don't need a small forward. We really don't. But uh, if he doesn't mind playing power forward and coming off the bench, then... I don't see why we can't sign him for a very low amount, probably for like a year or two, and then he'll probably retire, but he's just uh, getting at that age to where he needs to change his game because you're not going to be able to play like you were when you were 20 years old. So, just like what Kobe did, he started working in the post. Carmelo Anthony's always been good in the post and stuff, but he still tries to be athletic and just misses and doesn't pass the ball and keeps the ball in his hands until the shot clock hits like I don't know he keeps the ball in his hands for like 15 seconds so it leaves like 10 seconds on the shot clock for him to give it to someone else and yeah a lot of the times he's the one if Derrick Rose did take it up it ended up in Carmelo Anthony's hands just because the plays revolve around him and I just think Porzingis could have shined a lot more if Carmelo wasn't there because that man is a complete beast and I can see him being one of the best players in the NBA in a, in a couple years. His potential is very high and he's very young and on this offseason he's been going to the gym, he's getting some muscle on him and hopefully that does make his game better and <clears throat> hopefully Carmelo isn't there next season so he can shine and take over the team but I still don't think they're going to do that well. Even with a Carmelo Anthony, they're still not going to do well. I don't want to see the Celtics get him at all. But if we do, he'll be a good bench player. If he doesn't like that, then he doesn't need to be on the team. That's all I'm going to say. And again, he's he shouldn't be expecting these big contracts anymore because he's not the young, really good Carmelo Anthony anymore. So... 
I really don't know what else to say about him. I just hope the Celtics don't sign him, but the only way I'd be okay with him sign with us signing him is because we do need a power forward. A, a good subs too powerful. I don't think Jordan Mickey is um, a very good player. Yeah, he's young and he has room to grow, but I think we just need to pick up a better backup power forward for now and maybe put Mickey in in like the fourth quarters and stuff when the games are out of reach. Either we're losing by a lot or we're winning by a lot. So, um. If Carmel is fine with coming off the bench and playing power forward, then I don't see why we shouldn't sign him. But anything other than that, uh, it's just a waste of money, and we really don't need him. We have good starting. We have a good starting five, and Carmelo Anthony's just gonna mess that up to complete. To completely be honest, just because he, I wouldn't say a ball hog because he does do things and he passes the ball sometimes and stuff, but. He is kind of a ball hog. He likes the ball in his hands because, you know, he feels like he is the floor general. He is for the Knicks, but any other team in the league that is half decent, they're not going to want him to be a floor general just because they already have better players and younger players that want to grow and become the name for the organization. So that's all I got to say about Carmelo Anthony today. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe around here if you are new and enjoy the content that I do create and looking forward to more. NBA stuff I talk about and maybe other videos if you guys want to see me react to any NBA videos and stuff like that Just leave it in the comments below. I uh, look at every single comment So just let me know there if you are new around here again Make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the content that I do make this has been your boy Jay Knox reacts and as always Thanks for watching guys. Peace Trust me when you're jumping from the heights, would you fall in the name of love?